Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jared at 3Cs, I am excited. This is a 2024 beta four stroke. I'd like to go over some things with you guys. If you're picking up a new four stroke, thanks for joining the beta family. Hope you enjoy the bike. Um, I've had this bike at the shop. This is my dad's bike. I've had it for like two months, but we've been so busy. GNCC races have already started. We're kind of everywhere right now doing all kinds of stuff. So his bike has been neglected. I haven't done much to it. 100% stock, threw the handlebars on it threw the headlight mask on it, pushed it in the showroom. We've been showing the bike off, but haven't touched it. So I have a table full of accessories that we're gonna do to it. Uh, I also have the full FMF exhaust that we're gonna do. And this video is more four stroke based. We do so much two stroke stuff on the channel. Wanna get back to the four stroke guys. So main reason maybe for this video is kind of talking about the EFI maps and how all that works. I do have the new Texa tool with me. I brought it to the garage here tonight. So we can kind of go over that um, because everybody's confused on mapping and, and what we can do as a dealer. It's pretty limited. So I get too many calls every day asking me to change an FMF map. I can't do it. So I'm going to explain all that here in a little bit. So I actually just took this bike outside and I started it. I just grabbed it and it's still kind of warm. So I'm going to plug over to that real quick and then we'll jump back inside. So this is a brand new 2024 Beta 430 Race Edition. The bike has not been started and run for a long period of time. I can start it and hold the throttle on. And I wanna show this to you because if you guys are buying betas around the country out of the showroom, I'm not sure every dealer's doing the proper steps. So in the beta dealer manual right now, every new four stroke that comes in, we have to remap it right from the get go. I don't know if it's like the map that's in it is junk or what, but there's a new map in the tool. As soon as we remap it, and we're gonna go through that whole process here later today, it'll run better. So I'm gonna show you as I had it running a second ago. Uh, not great, right? So let's start it. Probably gonna have to hold the throttle to get it to run. Just wanna show you what it's, if your bike is running like crap, this is probably what's happening to it. So it needs to be reflashed. So let's just get it to start here. As soon as I let go, probably gonna die. So let go of the throttle, it died. Stepper motor is probably way out of whack. Um, but I really wanted to start this with a stock exhaust before I reflashed it. So that's what we're gonna do next is start this bike and just kind of rev it up so we can hear that stock exhaust. All right guys, welcome back inside. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna to do to my dad's bike. This is his Guts soft, tall seat foam. I've had that on other bikes. What's cool is 2020 and newer, they all click in. So I save his seat when I sell his old bikes. This is actually off one of my bikes. This is a TI 4.1 FMF, pretty cool exhaust. This is a rear rotor guard by Bulletproof. These are the Bulletproof rad guards. These are actually off of like a 2022 and the 2024 radios are different. So if you were to order these on the website for a 24, they would bolt right up. These probably won't. It's going to be a little bit of trimming with some files and I don't have the hardware. These are just kind of laying on a shelf at the shop. Um, so stick those on there in a minute. We're going to do the CMCO hose kit with engine ice. We're going to do moose hand guards and we're going to use our three C's number plate bracket. So this allows you to run a number plate with leaving your stock display on the bike. And then we always do like the slave cylinder guards. Um, and the last thing I want to show you on here so far anyway, is I'm not going to show you guys a dealer website. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't know if I could or would, but whatever. So Enduro EFI mapping, I took a screenshot and saved it off of the dealer portal. Um, there's 450RX maps, there's stock, and then two idle adjustment ones. And then here's all that's available for 24s. So 350s, 390s, 430s, 480s, stock plus idle. So plus 100 or plus 200 idle. That means it's going to idle higher than stock. 100 RPMs or 200 RPMs. That's all that means. And then these are the stock RS maps. And same with 23s. So there is no FMF map for a 23 or a 24. So you guys are totally fine. If you guys are online, whatever, you want to buy an FMF, you don't have to go back to the dealer. 
as long as the bike's initially been remapped when they sold it to you, like you just saw outside, this one has not been done yet, needs to be done. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna remap it, put that exhaust on it, and then I'll restart it for you guys. One, to see how much louder the FMF is, but then two is just to see how much cleaner it runs. So that's everything we're gonna do to it. I'm gonna jump into it and start ripping this bike apart. Not really gonna do much of a tech video on any of this stuff because um, I have that stuff on the channel. We've done a ton of videos with all these guards in the past. The only thing that I'm gonna really film more of here in a minute is gonna be the actual Texa tool being hooked up and showing you guys the map going into the bike. So I'm gonna get to work and we'll jump back to it. All right guys, so I don't wanna run out of daylight. So I put the FMF on here first. I'll do the rest of the accessories later. That's not part of this video. So we got the Texa tool hooked up to the bike portal over there. There's always a plug next to the battery. Uh, this is Bluetooth to my laptop at this point. And I'm still kind of learning this Texa tool, not super familiar with it. Uh, so, but the parameters are something that I'm used to with the, like the old beta tool. Um, odometer, it says 3.48 miles and operation time on the engine is half or 0.5 of an hour. So that's kind of cool if, um, Someone wants to trade a bike in, like, I don't know how much time is on it. I can actually figure it out pretty quick. And then in here, I can, like, activate things. Um, so if I'm not sure if something's working, um, like, you might not be able to hear this, but, like, a lower cylinder injector number one. Uh, let's hit it, and if you guys can hear it or not, I don't know. Okay, so it just ticked five times. So now we know um, that that injector is working. I've had injectors before where like it doesn't click, you know it's bad. There's no fan on this bike. Um, so anyway, oh, stepper position, we can reset the stepper motor over here in the settings, which we have to do afterwards. So idle motor reset, which we'll do. So now I gotta find my way over to the remap. So I'm gonna jump over to that, but this is more of the parameter side of things. There's two sections in this tool. So I gotta work my way over to the maps and we will get this new map put back in this thing. Okay, I found my way over here. So um, I did a bike just two days ago. I might be shaking the table, sorry. Uh, so last program date, they just randomly picked a date because it says 2011, obviously not true um, for this ECU. So I think when we redo that at the end, it'll show the actual date today. Uh, but I'm gonna click on mappings and we just want the standard 430 map. Um, I don't want the plus 100 or the plus 200 idle. I don't wanna do that to this bike. I want it to idle normal. So I'm gonna click on the standard map here and I'm gonna click on start and I have to enter a dealer password in here now. So I'm gonna tip you guys up real quick, hold on. Um, okay, so let's see. Yeah, okay, so the battery's fully charged. We're good to go. So usually they want these bikes on a battery maintainer. So I think right now it's deleting the ECU. So I've only done this a couple times because beta made us buy into this Texa program. Uh, before it was just a different beta tool. Um, current date 331. Yeah, it is. Today's Easter. So happy Easter, everybody. Um, so it actually had the right date in there. I didn't tell it that. So this takes a minute. I don't know if I wanna make you guys sit through all of this, but down here in the corner, it's 4% uh, done. At the end here, it'll obviously be 100%. It'll tell me confirm, it's done. And after this, we can take this bike outside um, and we're gonna to listen to how much louder it is. And we're also gonna just make sure it runs better. So that's the plan. We're already at 16% there down in that corner. Uh, so I will sit here and wait for this and we'll jump back to it. So we're at 97% here, wrapping up. Let's see if that's truly the end. Fuel pump just went off, which is cool. So I can confirm that it's done. Confirm. And then after this, so let's see, yeah, last program date, it actually updated the date on there for me, 2024. That's today. And what I'll do now is I'm gonna jump back over to, I think I have to click yes. I'm gonna reset the TPS and the stepper motor on this. And then that way we can go outside, start this bike. We'll give you a true 
right out of the box. Let's see, self-diagnose. I'm gonna jump back into the other side of things here and reset those real quick. So I have to confirm all my selections again. I'll rip through this. I don't know how long this takes. I'll try to sit here and be patient. And it's actually going a little bit quicker than I thought I was gonna. Let's see. Activations, which we already talked about settings. So TPS reset. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Start that. Confirm. Oh, that was quick. Apparently it's done already. And then this one right here too. And confirm. You can hear that step promoter. It just went out. So there it goes. So that's done. Okay, I'm done. Let's get this bike outside and we'll restart it. All right, we got the bike back outside here. I took my microphones off because they always make the exhaust sound horrible. And this bike's dead cold. I just pushed out the door here. So it's outside. A couple things about this is the stepper motor is back at zero. It's not set for here. So I'm not sure it's going to idle all that great now. I might have to start it with the throttle a little bit. And then a little bit, I could reset it because I have to let it run for a little bit to get some sort of idea of where it's at. I might have to hold the throttle for that. I am not sure until I start it. And last thing is this FMF 4.1 is super loud. Like dad doesn't love this system. He'd rather have the FMF Q. I just had the 4.1 off one of my old bikes. So that's what I put on here for him. So probably end up taking it back off and putting a Q on there. I personally, uh, I'm building a 350 for myself. I'm just gonna leave the stock exhaust on it. I'm pretty happy with stock stuff. So this is kind of above and beyond the whole point of this four stroke video. So. Again, I have not started yet. I like to be pretty true on the videos of what we're doing. So I'm gonna prime the fuel pump real quick. You can hear it. I do this quite often with these bikes. If you're racing, I hit the button. Now it's primed and it should start faster. We're in a weird position because this bike hasn't uh, learned itself yet, but normally it would fire right up a lot quicker. So that's a little tip for you guys that are racing. So I came back inside the garage so I can talk a little bit better because it's super loud next to that bike. It is incredible how fast that bike just started. Idling perfect. That map makes all the difference. I don't know what's going on with like stock maps, like why they're not good. But as soon as you put the most current map in that bike off that Texa tool, all of these four strokes are running amazing. And so I'm not going to touch the throttle on this. And that's another video that we've done on the channel in the past where it's called the resetting the stepper motor. And what it's going to do now is it's got to get to 218 degrees and it's going to learn itself and reset that stepper motor needle exactly where it needs to be. It's kind of like a choke, but that's a four stroke way of adjusting the air coming through the passage. So I'm not going to touch the throttle on this until it gets up to temp. So. It's probably gonna take like six, seven minutes for that bike to idle outside. Obviously the race editions, there is no like temperature gauge on it. The RS models have that Trailtech Voyager when it'll tell you right in there what's going on. So I just know off memory and off doing hundreds of betas that I'm gonna let it run for six or seven minutes and then I can go out there and play with the throttle. So resetting the stepper motor is important to do. I do have a video on the channel where I go through that whole process on the old beta tool, but same theory on the bike. So I'm not gonna touch the throttle. And anywhere we go, like if we're gonna travel and do a new race uh, down south somewhere, I'm gonna reset that stepper motor when we get to that elevation and that temperature. So if you're gonna go do some traveling, you might wanna reset that stuff where, whenever you get to wherever you're going. So thank you guys so much for watching. That bike runs so much more crisp. Uh, you know what I'll do is after it goes through this motion, I'll go back outside and we'll rev it up because I want you guys to hear that 4.1 on there. So let's give it a minute. We'll jump back to it. Okay, she's warmed up plenty. You can see all blue that header pipe's getting. That's normal. It's going to happen. So 
I'm pretty confident that stepper motor is reset. Everything is probably healthy on this thing. And the last thing I want to do is just kind of restart and let you guys hear this FMF bark. Again, they are so loud. I haven't touched the throttle yet because we had to redo all this. So I'm going to start it. I'm not going to be able to talk. And I'll let you guys listen to this thing. So let's see how well it restarts here. <laughs> so loud it was just echoing all the way through the woods here at my house <laughs> so all right guys thanks for watching this was a beta four stroke efi video hopefully it helps if you bought a new bike it's not running good please take it to the dealer have them put the most current map in it um like 2022's had some issues like right from the dealer and even if we did this on a 22 beta then came out with new maps later and there was a service bolt and on 2022 models so I have people call like my bike just runs like garbage and, and the dealer can clean all that up with the tool. Easy for the dealers to do. The tool doesn't take long. Um, I mean, it does take 35, 40 minutes to do it right. Like I like to do. Um, so anyway, this is Jared at three C's. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the ride and we'll see you in the trail.